yeah and by the way i am not sponsored by any of these companies this is just my personal experience and uh my personal research that i've done over the years because i just love doing this and please excuse this congestion because i'm still getting over a cold hi guys my name is karina and today i'm going to be talking about spore based probiotics so without further ado let's get into this video So in my last probiotics video, I said that I was doing a little bit of an experiment between another probiotic that I was currently taking and then the probiotic that I talked about in that video. If you want, you can go check it out. I'll link it below. And I've come to a conclusion. So the probiotic that I was raving about in that last video was Silver Ferns Ultimate Probiotic. This is a spore-based probiotic. It is also DNA verified, pharmaceutical grade, and survivability verified. It's also a prebiotic. And then the one that I was doing a little bit of an experiment with was this probiotic by Global Healing Center. This is Dr. Group's probiotic. It's called Latroflora. And it says that this one is like a spore bearing microorganism, whatever the hell that means. but the active organism in here is Revibilis lactrosporus. So that basically means it's derived from a spore. Um, and so I was testing it out between these two. I took this one, then gave it a break. I took this one, and then gave it a break and then went back to this one and my results were this one was definitely a lot more better um, in all aspects of health like anywhere from sleep to digestion everything in between mood and energy and so forth and so on I've noticed drastic physical emotional and mental um, benefits while taking this one. I'm not bashing this one. I'm sure this one is a great probiotic as well, but on here it doesn't say anything about pharmaceutical grade, DNA verified, or survivability verified. So basically what that means is obviously DNA verified means that they're actually going and doing a additional testing to verify that the DNA strands of the probiotic that is labeled on the bottle is actually what's in the capsules itself and the survivability testing is to make sure that it survives through the whole GI system, the gastrointestinal tract, and actually lands in the colon and colonates because that's what's important and that's what you want. And that is what a good probiotic is supposed to do. And you're, that is what you're gonna gain from. If it doesn't survive through all the gastrointestinal acids, the stomach acids, it's basically dying off before it even reaches the colon, which then is just a waste of money, time, and effort. And spore-based probiotics is what's really gonna help with that. It's super important that you get a spore-based probiotic because everything else on the market is just basically, in my opinion, shit and junk. So these ones are both gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free, the whole nine yards, but I have to say, that this one is just for me personally I just felt the best on it I haven't really reached out to this company to ask them if they did do the testing and the um, for the DNA and the survivability just because like it I didn't even notice a drastic difference when I was on it it was just like taking any other probiotic that I've taken in the past which I've taken lots of different types of probiotics um, so yeah, I highly recommend taking spore-based probiotics just because they are the ones that are going to be the most beneficial. And also, oh, the question always comes across like, should your probiotics be refrigerated? And the answer is no. If your probiotics have to be refrigerated, that means that's a weak probiotic. It's a weak organism and it's not going to survive through all of the acid that 
our body has, our gastrointestinal tract has, our stomach acid, um, if it needs to be refrigerated. I mean, temperature compensation. It's just common sense. And then you're just wasting a lot of money because probiotics are not cheap. And especially spore-based probiotics, they can be extremely expensive. So I highly recommend that you do your research, you reach out to the companies, you see how you feel on the different types of probiotics. I highly recommend starting with spore-based ones, and trying different types the research is out there there's so many videos online i highly recommend looking into the microbiologist kieran krishnan i think that's his name i will put his name down below he has lots of different videos out and podcasts out online and he knows his shit. Um, he is a microbiologist and he works directly with this company, um, Silver Fern, and he does recommend that brand. And then he also has his own probiotic line out as well. Um, there, I think there's three different types of probiotics. One is with his company and then the other two are just like um, probiotics that consumers can get. The one that he has with his company i think you could just get from a healthcare practitioner because they are very very strong but i just ordered uh just thrive probiotics which is one of the probiotics he recommends as well and consumers can get um so i'm excited to try that that's also a spore based probiotic so i'm excited to test out that one the just thrive probiotics and compare it to this one that I'm currently taking. I'm finishing up this bottle and then I will go to the Just Thrive and compare the two and see how I feel on them and see if one of them outweighs the other again. So I just wanted to make this quick video and explain to you guys that it's really important to test out different probiotics just because one is preferred over another doesn't necessarily mean that your body is going to react the same way as other people do because everyone's body is different. But I highly do recommend checking this one out just because it has shown to be beneficial for a lot of people and there's been a lot of research um gone behind making these probiotics and there's also videos online on youtube for the silver brand company and charity is the co-founder or founder i can't remember um but she is just super knowledgeable and I think she made an amazing product really and also I highly do recommend checking out the global healing center they do have really good uh, supplements like other than their probiotics like other supplements as well and you should definitely check this probiotic out and see if it's something that you're interested in it just didn't work for me maybe it might work for you but I've taken several of their other supplements and they've seemed to work and I highly recommend them uh, doctor group is another great uh, doctor who has a amazing supplement line that goes behind a lot of research as well and what I like about him is that all of his probiotics are vegan and gluten-free and non-gmo and the whole nine yards so yes and I do like this one because it's in a glass container this one is in a plastic container which sucks but Oh well, you can't have it all, I guess. But yeah, I highly recommend going and checking out spore-based probiotics. Do your own research. Um, there's so many out there on the market. Go get your hands on spore-based probiotics because that is what you need in a probiotic. That is like the best thing. And that is what's going to do what a probiotic needs to do. <laughs> and you're going to get your money's worth. So that is my little spiel on spore-based probiotics. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below, share, subscribe, follow me on social media, turn on post notifications. And other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Health and peace.